Hey guys, it's Devin and welcome back to my channel. Sorry that this video is so delayed, but we had a little bit of a crazy week this week. Right, Josh? You could say that. <laughs> Was that rehearsed line? <laughs> Look at the swirl you go down that. in my coffee. You, you could, could say you. that. <laughs> so, we're gonna get you juice too, baby. Relax. No, juice out the fry store. So, the fry store. Right. So, we had a tornado come through our town this week, which is very rare for where we live. It was kind of like a freak thing. And it came through our backyard, so that was real fun. Um, <laughs> Welcome to McDonald's. Can, you um, can I just get a um, McDonald's drive through? Two large fries. Anything else? And um... Damn juice. Uh, you have, what, you have apple juice? Yep. Apple juice. Alright, we're well, that's uh, so we're because we have no food. Uh -huh. We're actually on our way to Whole Foods to stack up our... Two stinking fries and a pathetic apple juice for eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that we had went bad because we had no electric for three days. Um, but yeah, we don't normally get tornadoes in our area. It was kind of intense. What are you doing? Missing like a cat? You guys have to see Cohen. Do you see this hat he's wearing right now? It's a figment hat for anybody that knows figment. Anyway, so we normally don't get tornadoes in our area, so this was kind of like a freak thing. Um, we had like a warning, like a bad storm warning, but we've gotten those many times and it ends up just being a bad thunderstorm. When I was a kid, we used to kind of go out in the garage and watch storms. It was not like that crazy, so I was just looking out the window. I was home, obviously, I made sure I was home. But we were just, I was looking out the window at the storm and all of a sudden the sky changed color. It looked like this black green color, which is crazy. And then I could literally see the trees in our neighbor's yard, like, like blowing sideways. It was insane. So I don't think I had enough, I didn't have enough time to grab the kids and run downstairs. So I literally grabbed them and ran into our, ha our hallway. We have like a one level house. Josh wasn't home yet from work. Um, so I grabbed the kids, ran into our hallway, uh, closed all of the doors, and we kind of just bunkered down there. And literally, I had Mom. seconds to do that. What, baby? Why do I... I'm talking. Okay. Because um, the moment I did that, I heard the crack of the tree, and then it like smashed on the house, and the whole house shook. It was so loud. It was so crazy. I didn't know there where it go. fell, where there it came go. from. I didn't know if it was coming there through go. the ceiling. Um, yeah, so we're actually really lucky where it hit. It was right behind our back fence, so it crashed through the fence, through our porch roof, um, and by the time it hit our actual roof, I think, right, like the porch roof kind of broke its fall yeah. a little bit. Didn't do as much damage. So it kind of bore most of the weight of the tree, and now there's like a basketball size hole in our actual roof. The porch roof is trashed, and Josh was literally <laughs> Literally just saying that most of our yard work was done and it's like almost finished. So like the porch was almost done The fence we just finished all we had to do was finish staining it uh, So now we're back to more work, so So yes, that could have been way worse. So we're very fortunate after the storm We kind of like drove around to see the rest of the neighbors property and stuff and like how many neighbors would you say their houses were? trees in them. There's probably like 10 houses in our neighborhood with trees on them. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> How many houses would you say were trashed by trees in our oh, neighborhood? Oh, um, at least eight or nine. Yeah. So there was probably about like 10 houses or so, I would say, in our neighborhood that had trees in their roofs. Around the block, there was like a massive tree in the middle of the road. Couldn't even get through. Power lines down. Power lines down. There was a tree in somebody's house around the block, remember? Like literally mm -hmm. through the front of their house. Mm -hmm. So scary. So it could have been a lot worse. It was basically our town, and then there was a town across the river too that got really smashed. It was like dead zone when people just drove through here. We still have no internet and stuff, but you know, um, we have our power back, so that's awesome. So it's been a long week, so I haven't been able to upload. So I just wanted to explain that to you guys, tell you our crazy story. I will include some pictures in this video of the tree in our house, pretty intense. So we had to like throw out basically everything in our fridge because everything went bad, which is so annoying because I literally had just went to the natural food store in around, in around our area and bought all this like organic stuff, including eggs that were like $7, which is totally ridiculous. 
Um, <laughs> I know that's ridiculous. But I just had stocked up on stuff right before this happened because again, I didn't take it, I should have taken the alert seriously, but we've had so many like thunderstorms alert, alerts just as warnings and it's never turned into anything. But this time it really turned into something and that was pretty scary. And Cullen for days has been blaming everything that goes wrong on the storm. So whenever something goes wrong now, he's going, the storm, it was the storm. So yeah, off to Whole Foods now, which is a little bit of a hike from us. It's probably like 25 minutes. I guess that's not that much of a hike, but we have a grocery store like two minutes from our house, but we're in the Whole Foods mood today. I like Whole Foods. <laughs> he's saying this as he's eating McDonald's French fries. Yeah. So here we go. And Costco liquor. Costco Woo liquor. What? The cheapest liquor on earth. Keep your eyes on the road, baby. All right. Alright. Just really excited about Costco. So yeah, we're going to Whole Foods and then we're gonna go to Costco. And that's the excitement of our day. I'm sorry this video is not like super exciting, but as I said, <laughs> it's been a bit of a crazy week and I have not been feeling well the past couple days. It's kind of been intense, so grocery shopping now and then I'll show you guys what we picked up. Let's go. We did a massive food haul what and I'm going to spearhead right here. One because our whole fridge and freezer were empty and two because Devin brought me and I buy everything at the supermarket. We got tortellini with pesto filling, weird looking pasta, cheddar rocket crackers, I don't know what that is, <laughs> green drinks that look pretty good, butter, Cheese, beer cheese, Havarti cheese with dill for crackers, which we didn't buy. It's the only thing we didn't buy was crackers for the cheese. A billion fruit roll-ups, mushroom and herb risotto, roasted cauliflower, cheese mezzaloon, raviolis. We got olive oil, almond milk. Uh, we got frozen fruits for our smoothies. We went crazy with the raviolis, bean and cheese taquitos, I got about 10 million cheese and green chili tamales. He wants to tell you, he wants you to say what you got. Okay, you want to say what you got? Yeah. Tell him what you got. Bread. Bread? <laughs> what kind of bread? Circle. Circle bread. Circle bread. That's what we call buns here. <laughs> Circle bread. We got mushroom ravioli with truffle sauce. I mean, uh, we pretty much bought everything in the store. <laughs> Noki with gorgonzola. Okay, I don't even know what this is, but it spoke to me. Five cheese Greek spiral. Cheese. Josh has never been to Trader Joe's cheese before. Cheese and phyllo dough? Sign me up. I've never been to Trader Joe's. This was an experience. Kale, baby spinach, super sweet cut corn. I guess that's sweeter than sweet corn. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Frozen berries, and now this is the oopsie section right here. These were things that our kids grabbed off the shelves and we didn't realize. A s'mores <laughs> bar. Cullen picked up some polenta. <laughs> Brown rice pasta. 
10 minute barley, I suppose. <laughs> baby bells. We'll all use this, so yeah, it's okay. So it will go be used. Oh, and when you're thirsty on the way to the register, you buy every sparkling Yay! beverage on the shelf. So I got apple cider, Italian grapefruit soda, French berry lemonade, and I got puffins. I don't even eat cereal. But yes, these you look, do. Eh, not really, but I, I'm going to this week because these look good. So I'm starving and we have tons of food. So I'm going to eat this all tonight. So we did go a little crazy. This is not a normal haul for us, but this is Josh's first experience at Trader Joe's and we had to throw out everything in our fridge because of the tornado. So yeah. And six pounds of french fries. Cullen loves french fries. So I figured, um, let's load up. Honestly, we don't live very close to the Trader Joe's. We're like half hour away. So we don't go very often. So I figured all the frozen stuff we can kind of stock up on. So that's it, you guys. That's kind of ridiculous, I realize. Colin, say bye-bye. Bye. What are you eating? Circle bread? Yeah. Bye.